Blog Talk Radio. What do you hear? What do you say? Welcome to another episode of Tony Talk. I love this music. I always did like this music. I'm going to turn it down. It's enough of that. Ladies and gentlemen, all oh my listeners, welcome to another episode of Tony Talk with your host, me, Uncle T, a.k.a. Tony G, a.k.a. Tony Kaka. A.K.A. Tony Shides. And let me tell you about the Shides. Oh, okay, so here's what's going on. Last week, there was a snafu, if you will. Um, Last week, I got some stuff going on with me last week, okay? So uh, let me just, uh, let me just update your guys on what's happening. I'm going to update your guys on what's going on with me. You know, uh, I'll let you guys know what am I, what do I hear, what do I say type of deal. First of all, let me welcome you all. First of all, let me wish everybody out there a happy Father's Day. If you're a father or you got a father out there, you know, you, you miss your father. Yeah, happy Father's Day to you guys, you know. That's what I want to say. People take their fathers for granted. Some of them are here, some of them are, some of them that are. They get taken advantage of. Some of them that they're, they're not taking advantage of, they're being taken care of. Oh, that's good. But Father's, <coughs> it's very good. Very good. Happy Father's Day. You know, and, and, and spoil it. In the middle of it, happy Father's Day to me because I got two little fur babies still not, not, not little Mark, but uh, Mr. Sparkles, my cat, who was still not. But I take care of him. I'm also kind of a father, you know what I mean? But that, that, that's it. That's it. Happy Father's Day. Um, on the note of Father's Day, one of my good friends reached out to me. One of my good friends reached out to me and he said to me, he said, Tony, he, well, let me tell you what he said. He said, Tony, baby, because that's what my friends call me. Tony Baby. Not like Jesco, who's not allowed to call me Tony Baby. But this guy, who's my friend, he said, Tony Baby, because you know, my father's not doing too good. He's got very high blood pressure. But oh, he just, just hypertension out of, out of the damn mind. The, the guy's blood pressure was over 200, something like that. It wasn't good. This guy's been in and out of the hospital for the fa- past couple months. I'm not going to say his name on the air because I don't want you to nods. Just start with him. Start your bullshit. Start your caca, all that stuff. Nobody wants it. Start the shit. Keep your mouth shut. But I want to say to him, my friend and his dad, I want to wish you a very speedy recovery. I want you to get back on the saddle. Celebrate Father's Day with your son. Have yourself a good time. Okay? That's what I want to say to my friend out there. That was for your father. That was for you. Happy Father's Day. All the best. Prayers. Now, let me explain to you guys why I wasn't on last week. Before we kick off Pastor Ken Fishman Appreciation Night, my good friend Pastor Ken, and the reason behind the Appreciation Night, you know, just, let me get the microphone closer to me. Fucking thing. Okay. Sparkles, you gotta get off the table. Daddy's using the... Daddy's using the microphone. Okay. This cat don't listen. So... I, I got some shitty news to give you guys at the end of the show, but... Um, I mean, I just have to give it to you now. Get it out of the way. Here, here's what's going on. You see, old Uncle T works very weird hours. Works very weird hours trying to maintain my wife, uh, trying to go shopping. You know, you're doing the usual shit like adults, paying your bills, uh, you know, 
going out buying toilet paper. Stay here, you know, the normal adult stuff, food shopping, hitting the sides with my new love. My new old love. I'm going to say classic, not old. Ah, uh, Michelle. You know, um, Uncle Tony works for a company. I have a security guard. And they treat me like garbage. Um, and the thing is, is I'm kind of having a hard time right now. Until I find another job, I'm having a hard time actually paying my bills. My idea was I wanted to get on here at least twice a week, maybe three times a week. But the way my job schedule is, I just cannot do it. And it upsets me and it aggravates me. It gives me agita because I miss my listeners. I, wish my, I miss my fans. And I just can't seem to get the fuck on here because I got to work. To live, you know, you know, uh, the to, to, Tony Gagaro goes to work. So Tony Gaga, Uncle Sides can do this. And uh, I'm still paying off, you know, I'm still paying off after my mother died, stuff like that. I get some bills. They kind of hit me hard, you know. Life insurance policies, they don't, they don't cover everything sometimes. So that's, that's, that's the problem. It's embarrassing. But that's the problem. That's the problem that I got. So here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. I want to apologize to you guys, but until I can get on my feet and get a normal fucking job, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scream, that uh, I'm only going to be on once every two weeks. That is two Sundays a month. Believe me, I know. I wanted to do more. But that's going to be two Sundays a month that I'm going to be on Blog Talk Radio. And it cuts my shows down drastically. And I understand this. And I'm sorry. And on those Sundays, I will do more shows if I have to sign on twice and give, give you guys more. I'll do it. It's just it's the way my job is. It's just the way my job is. And I'm sorry. I want to apologize to my listeners. I want to apologize to my listeners because it is. I'm sorry, guys, but that's all I can do is once every two weeks. Once every two weeks. And I'm in the chat room at Blog Talk. There's two chat rooms, by the way, which is weird. Mike Hunt, you son of a bitch. This is not bullshit. I can't do Wednesday nights, okay? That's what I got to do. I got to work. I got to pay my fucking bills. If you guys, you know... Son of a bitch, I'm not ghost, okay? I can't just go on here and exploit, exploit my, uh... Ow! Oh, so you guys are telling me to quit. Oh, that's nice. These are the fans I have. These are the fans I have. Filthy Phil Burnell in Discord. Stop prostituting yourself. Just go fuck you! Devon, I love you, too. Oh, everyone's calling me a student. Nah, they have no respect for me. That's nice. Well, if you don't got respect for me, I'll sign off right now if that's a thing. That's what you want to do. You guys want to want me to sign off? You guys can blame him because you just said I'm a bitch. You can blame filthy Phil Bond now. That's what you can do. That's what you guys can do. You can blame him because he's being a student. Apparently, me do... No, you don't love me, Phil, you son of a bitch. You're not trying to help me. Cobra, nobody wants to sponsor me. I can't take sponsorships, okay? And I'm not asking my fans for money. I'm not asking my fans for money. I'm not ghost. I'm not going to fucking exploit you guys, all right? I'm all here. For now, it's going to be twice, you know? If I can do an extra Sunday, if I can do every Sunday, I will. But it depends on my job schedule. I have to fucking eat, don't I? Stunat. You call me a stunat. You're a stunat. Okay. Now, this is the shit. Okay. So now we're going to go on to Pastor Ken Appreciation Night. Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Ken's a friend of mine. And unfortunately, this poor bastard who goes around helping everybody... He, he, he's a good good man. He, him and I have had disagreements because people are being stunned, you know? But uh, tonight's the night. You guys are going to call in. Pastor Ken's helped a lot of people. I want you guys to call in 
talk to Pastor Ken. He's going to come on the show later on tonight, I believe. If he, you know, this is what I want to do. If he does, and he's just listening, that's great. You guys, call in. Give me your best past, Pastor Ken memories, okay? Pastor Ken memories. That's what we're focused on. All positive. No, no garbage calls. No garbage calls. And on top of the Pastor Ken appreciation, like, call him with your favorite Father's Day memories. We're going to go to the phones. In a second, we're going to go to the phones. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to go to... <sighs> and now, just go, you wave at me in this blog talk chat. I don't like you. Shut him a bitch. And I want you kicked out of here. And, and no, and Shane Energy, who's a good friend of mine, and Shane Energy, um, I would absolutely love, absolutely love to have uh, people sponsor me, but Fontaine's a jerk, as you guys can clearly see. So in any case, let me get back to what I'm doing. We're going to open the phones. We're going to open the phone. Your first caller is going to be 506. 506. If I can find... Goddamn block talk. I lost him. Hold on a second. Da, 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 da. Oh, he's gone. I lost him. Um, I guess I'll just take this one. I guess I'll just take this one. Of course. Of course. Area code 666. I know who this is. What do you want? Hello? Well, 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 well. Uh, Mr. Tony, Tony, Tony. Boy, (laughs) as I sit here, by the way, I'm live up in the sky here. Okay. In Louisiana, looking down at the very, right. very, 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 very low ground, and I'm looking at everybody. I'm seeing all these people walking around, and I'm seeing all these businesses and these cars and everything, and life's just moving on here. Hmm. Life is just moving on here, and you know something, Mister Tony? This is where, this is where I had, you know, since. This is where I had an idea here. All right. I don't care about your idea. I realize that. Okay. Cut me off, son of a bitch. I'm allowing all this to happen. Do you, do, do you understand here? Do you, do you understand that the reason why you even have a show <laughs> is because I'm allowing you to? Because Mr. Nigglesworth and I have oh, hacked in before. Bullshit. And once I get the chance to do it again here, I'm going to. And here is the reason why, Mr. Tony, and do not blame me. This is not my fault here. This is your fans' fault here. This is the reason for the fans. They allow you to do a Pastor Kenneth Mary Lou Fishman appreciation night here. Shall and you, you ungrateful bastard. I pay for your entire year for Blog Talk Radio on your PayPal. And then you do this to me. So, hmm. I ain't doing it to What you. about a Benjamin Buford Fontaine idea? What about a Benjamin what? Buford Fontaine appreciation out here? What about that? No. No. I'm not a... No. No. Well, you see here... I did not mean. I, I don't mean to do this because you're forcing my hand here. You're forcing my hand here. You see, Mr. Tony, forc- to, to to everybody I'm not else, I'm Mr. Benjamin Buford Fontaine the third, but to you, I am your God. I'm your no, God and I'm your Savior. And let me tell you something here. Straight from the heavens, coming down with fury and unmercifulness. I've been sent from the heavens to destroy you. Now. I'm going to destroy the show that I want to do help bring up here, Mr. Tony. 
No, you're not destroying my show. You want to ben, appreciate not- someone like uh, Mr. Mary Lou with his little helmet and his, his name- drooling and his fault. His name is all Ken. Over the place oh, his name is Ken, not Mary Lou. Still not. Mr. Tony, I'm coming for your show. No, you're not. And no, you're not. I'm coming for Michelle. Ah! You Niggas shut up, bitch! You're coming for Michelle! The Boston. Oh, stick your bone up your ass, Ben! Leave Michelle out of you, fucking... Okay, get out of here. You want to hang up on me? Leave Michelle out of this. You don't bring Michelle into this. You son of a bitch! Don't you ever bring her into nothing! Hello? Okay, that's not funny. The blog talk just jitter jatted all over my damn uh, internet. It's just wicked. Guys, if you lose me, give me 10 minutes to get back on the air. Just just give me 10, 10, 10 minutes to get back on the air, maybe less. All right? And you son of a bitch. You, you son of a bitch, dog. Don't you dare. You, you leave Michelle out of your mouth. You're a disrespectful son of a bitch. You bring up dead relatives. Ah! Okay, Jimmy, hot ringer. You, don't post those pictures in my Discord chat room. Okay, I just fired an internet friend. Don't, stop posting pictures in my chat room. I don't want to see that. I can hair sticking up in the back of my neck. And my lips are trembling. My lips are trembling. Okay. Now that I'm nervous, let me go into something else that happened to me this week. Okay? Let me go into shut. And no, Cobra Jeff, I didn't piss myself. Okay. I got to give condolences out real quick. There's a friend of mine. Well, let's put it this way. So my sister and I are mutual friends with someone. We are mutual friends with someone, this woman. Um, her name's Harley. Very nice person. Unfortunately, she passed away this week. And with that comes a lot of grief. Um, Now, my sister and I don't really get along. We just started getting along a little bit after my mother passed away. Um, My mother's been gone for about uh, six months now or so. And my sister and I just started getting along. All right. So apparently, um, (laughs) I was asked by my sister not to go to this, to the services, because she feels as though I'm too dramatic. And she goes, you know, we all just mutually agreed, Tony, that you don't have to be at the services. That's what she said. She said that to me. So, um, needless to say, um, once I uh, set up my job information, all my job situation, everything's okay, going back to that, and I save up enough money, I am moving out of this apartment that my mother and I have had for years, and I am leaving the current area. I'm working in apartments right now. When I save up enough money to move, which will be a while because my job is I got an asshole for a boss and a company sucks. I'm leaving and I am never fucking talking to her again. I'm never talking to her again. So if you're listening, sis, would you do sometimes because you like to make fun of me? Because you're nothing more but a fucking bully. Okay? You are a selfish dick chasing. You would fucking sell me to China. Okay, for a science experiment, as long as you got a fucking dick up your pussy and your mouth 
or up your ass, it doesn't matter, you fucking skank. You're selfish, you're an asshole, and for God is my witness, thank God Ma's not around anymore. Thank God she's not around anymore to hear me say this. You fucking cunt, I hate you. Stay out of my life, you'll never see me again. You'll never hear from me again. Thank you, fuck you, goodbye, bitch. Please allow me to collect myself. Please allow me to collect myself. Five zero six. We're gonna go back to the phones. Five zero six. You're coming on the air. Five zero six. You come on the air. Welcome to Pastor Ken's Appreciation Night. Take it away. Five zero six. Hello, Tony. Hello. How are you, my son? Uh, I guess I'm okay. I'm okay, Kent. What do you hear? What do you say? I am blessed and highly flavored. And I would like to show my appreciation of Kenny. Ah! Oh. If I may. You, like, you want to show your appreciation of Kenny? Yes, my son. You see, oh. when Kenny was my apprentice, the man Kate Mary's. I asked him to do several things, and he was quite well at it. Aside from getting me coffee and fetching my things, I asked him to stay away from his pedal ways while under uh, my okay. instruction, and he stayed away from it. He did. He did not engage in animal cruelty, which he did not try to have intercourse with horses. He stayed away from the elementary schools and right about the time of his departure is when he went back to his awful ways and his Porn addiction and tobacco addiction and his alcoholics and animals addiction. But he did not do that when he was under my tutelage. So for that, I appreciate him, my son. What's that? Have a a father, Elohim. I pray for Tony, and I pray for Kenny. Okay. And that is it, my son. You're welcome. Uh, uh, okay. I, I, well, I guess I can say thank you now after you said you're welcome. Um, th- th- thank you for thank you for your call, Kent. Jeez. Thank you for your call. Pastor Kent, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was him. I don't even know if that was praise. It was more like a backhanded compliment. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and, and anyway, uh, but back on the subject of Ken... Let me tell you something real quick. Um, you know, I got an email from one Mr. Rico Martini, who has been driving, uh, well, he's been through some shit lately. Um, you, you know, let's just put it this way. Let's put it this way. It's about time for a musical break. 
Oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to play the song that was sent to me. And, uh, you know, it's... <laughs> It'll explain it for yourselves, guys. We're going to go to a quick musical break and then back to Pastor K appreciation night. Uh, here's a little update on uh, the relationship between uh, Alfonso and Rico. Every night a motel I see the sun shining Through the mess And fooling up on Loom and deep talk Wish I had a good guy To miss me Lord, I wonder if I ever Gain my way Away. I sat down and cried to me. I kind of look at you while I lie next to him. I put your picture away. I sat down and cried to me. I caught you last night in the hotel, darling. Everyone knows, but they won't tell, darling. But their half-hearted smiles were telling something just ain't right. I've been waiting on you for a long time. No, 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 no. Fueling up on hot eggs and hashtag cheap wines. I ain't heard from you in three damn nights. No, I didn't want. I put your picture away. I wonder where you've been. I can't look at you while I'm lying next to him. I put your picture away. That's what I did. I wonder where you've been. I can't look at you while I'm lying next to him. Oh, my God. 
Okay, it was nothing weird about that at all. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I try to do a good thing and have, have them play a show. <sighs> okay, internet friend, do not put pictures up of shit all over a toilet. Okay? Where did you get that picture anyway? It's disgusting. Beanie, okay, Beanie, there is no such thing as tickle me, Tony. Okay? There's no such thing as tickle me, Tony, not this. In any case, I'm going to go back to the phones. Back to the phones. Two, two, four, you've been shitting there for a while there, two, two, four. Two, two, four. Bringing you on. Welcome to Pastor Ken. Appreciation night. Toto Far, what do you hear? What do you say? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's me, Uncle Tony. Welcome to another episode. I'm just hitting the side. Oh, 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 oh. Because fighting's important, okay? Because fighting's what makes the world go round. Just everybody. Everybody okay. just, oh, there it okay. is. There it is. It's not funny. Everybody fighting. Everybody just fighting. This is not my. This oh, is not yeah. me saying this now. Oh, it's me, Uncle Tony. Welcome to another episode. I'm just hitting the side. Oh, 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 no. oh, okay. oh, oh, Okay, shut him up, bitch. This oh, oh, is not oh, oh. Shut him up, bitch. <sighs> one, one, one. One, one, one. What do you hear? What do you say? Is this the Tony Gaga show? This is Rosemary Fishman. The estranged wife of Pastor Ken. Oh, oh. Rosemary Fishman. Rosemary is, um... Okay, um, okay, well, I didn't expect this, but, okay, Rosemary, welcome to Pastor Ken Appreciation Night. Didn't expect well, this I'm call. Calling because I'm, I'm calling because I finally want to get a divorce. You're getting a divorce yeah. from I'm broken hearted by Ken. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what, what, what happened with I'm Ken? I'm broken hearted by Ken, so... I've I've been I've been talking to this Fontaine, this Mr. Fontaine, Mr. Buford Fontaine, who's got such a hot air balloon and he's got a hot rich body. God. Okay. Um. But Ro- Rosemary, I understand you were broken hearted, but I thought you guys, I thought you guys put that stuff away though. You, you know, and this is past the kind of appreciation, like, and stay away from Fontaine. But he's Ms. consoling me since he's consoling me since Kim broke my heart and went to fuck that fat. I think his name is Tony. Okay. Okay, this voice sounds for. Madeline, is this you? Who is Madeline? Who is Madeline? Son of a bitch. Madeline, this is you pretending to be Ken's ex wife. I know that, that, that this is what this is. Who is Madeline? Madeline's a terrible woman who kills babies and does gross things in bathtubs. That's who Madeline is. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That's a lie. That's not a lie. You know it's not. Get out of here, Madeline. Don't call my son no more. No, 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 no. 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 Okay, okay. Listen to me very carefully. No, 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 no. You know, and I don't like it when Alfonso does it either, so I don't like it when other people call in and do it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. (sighs) 
It's not funny. Start with the nom nom noms and then the, the, the fighting and the stu the stu mad stuff. Don't start. Don't be fresh. Oh, it's a kitten with a bow tie. Oh, she's cute. And that picture of me with the weird biker guy, it's, that's not me. I'm not paying attention to this. Okay, I just fought it. Um, I don't kill rhinos. That picture is not with me. Okay. I can't look at this card right now. Six, 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 what do you want? No, I ain't know you yet, fat boy. I'm hitting a boss in that wheel. Speak here, my hot air balloon. And you, little son of a care. fat bitch, making me uh, swear and curse. Good Lord have mercy. You, you and I are not yourself. done. You think it's okay to sit here and play music by Mr. Martini and his 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 blasphemous boyfriend yes, there, Mr. Al yes, Holmes? You think that's you okay? Know. Mr. Yes, Tony, the okay. more you do, the more things that you do to upset me, I'm going to... Oh, Mr. Tony, you don't even know what's coming to you when I come to Boston, boy. I'm going to take more than Michelle oh, away from Boston, you. you. I'm going to take away fat. everything. As a this is why Rico kicked your ass, I heard. Niggas were. What? Pull up a movie search on that Mr. Joseph Gibson. That's it, Tony. You wanted a war. Joseph Gibson and I are going to take over Blog Talk Radio, and we're going to take all your listeners... And everybody, and no, we're going not. to destroy it. Ladies Please and gentlemen, the newest body. member of Benjamin Buford Fontaine Enterprises Records and Entertainment no. Sales is Mr. Joseph Gibson. Mr. Joseph no, Gibson, if you are listening here tonight, sir, you just found yourself coming into a lot of money and a lot of power. No, and he you, didn't. Sir, Joseph would Joseph not be a fool like Mr. Tony Gaga here, fat boy, jiggle wiggles, tubby lubby, and chunky you monkey. You will not be like him. I lost weight, you ass ho. Accept it with pride and dignity. Because you're a good man here, Mr. Joseph Gibson. Mr. Joseph Gibson and I are going to rule Brog Talk Radio. Tony, you're a thing of the past. Benjamin Buford Fontaine and Joseph Gibson are the thing of the future. Oh. Get the fuck out of here! Niggas, well, I'm getting nervous here. Pass me some marshmallows or something. I need something to snack on. My blood pressure is dropping in my oh, blood. Oh, stick a crashing. marshmallow up your it's... ass. I'm tired of you. Listen, niggas, well, please put the poodle down and come over here and give me my marshmallow. Tony, I'm hanging up on you, boy. I'll see you in Boston. I don't give Boston. a shit! Whoa. I don't care. Niggas, well, where are my marshmallows? Oh, stick your marshmallows up your ass. Get out of here! Why don't you stick a Hershey bar and then a marshmallow up your ass and make s'mores over the gas that's holding the balloon up, you son of a bitch. Okay, so... Oh, is that true? Wow, 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 wow. I just got a message in my email. Huh. If anyone is moderating the Tony Talk uh, chat room, I want you to get rid of Jimmy Hotringer, please. Kick him, ban him, get him the fuck out of there, because he's being a piece of shit. He's being a piece of shit. That's what he's being. Just get him out of there. He's gone. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so everybody, Jimmy Hartringer is actually uh, Randy Anderson. Yep, the guy that was harassing me. The guy that was harassing me and almost ended my show. That's who that was. Yep, Jimmy Hartringer, everybody. Get him on Discord. Jimmy Hartringer. Um, also, get rid of Mike Hunt, please. I want him gone, too, out of the chat room. 
Anybody that has something negative to say about me is gone. I don't care what bullshit. This is only for my listeners. She's only for my listeners. I want Mike Hunt gone. He's a son of a bitch. Yep. In any case, screw you, Fontaine. Gonna go back to the cars. Eight zero three. Eight zero three. What do you hear? What do you say? Hey Tony, this is Adam from South Carolina. How you doing, buddy? Adam, what do you hear? What do you say? Welcome to Pastor Ken Appreciation Night here on Tony Talk. What's up? Well, I wanted to pay you some appreciation, Tony, because I took some of your pointers to heart, and I met a woman, and I'm hoping to get into a relationship with her. Um, wow. I'm not a very, I'm kind of a shy guy. I'm a little, you know, on the heavier side, but I'm trying to do something about it. But I took your advice, and I just, you know, I was out jogging the other day near my apartment, and I saw this woman on a bench reading a book. And there was just something about her. I just felt drawn to her. I, I don't believe in love in first sight, but, oh, man, I just, you know, I remembered what you said about being confident. I was as confident as I could be. I walked up, I said hello to her, and we struck up this really amazing conversation. We totally connected. We talked for well over an hour. And um, wow. <laughs> another first happened, Tony. <laughs> We actually went back to my apartment and we had the most intense, passionate lovemaking I've, I've ever had. It was incredible, Tony. Thank you so much for, you know, giving me some guidance and giving me the confidence to go talk to this woman. And I'm, I'm hoping you can help me out with a couple of other things too. Um, I don't think she'd ever had a one night stand either. So it was a little um, uncomfortable after it was over. She left me her number and then she took off. Now there's a, I really want to have a relationship with this woman, Tony, but there's a couple of obstacles that we'll have to overcome. Now, one obstacle I know you've had to deal with. She is a person of color. I am a white man. Now, it's okay. 2019. But I do live in South Carolina, so there will be some issues with that. Um, Also, Tony, there is a fairly significant age difference. I don't know if you've dated younger women or or, or older women. Um, I could definitely use some guidance there, too. But I dated (laughs) but. Oh, (laughs) I bet you have, my friend. I bet you have. Well, Here's the thing. I'm 38 years old. She okay. is 14. What? But but Tony, she fucks like a woman. Oh, you, you, that, that's, okay, that's illegal, Adam. That's illegal. Are you but, out of so, your but fucking Tony, mind? It was, Tony, it was completely uh, consensual. No, you, okay, the age of consent First of all, and it's still fucked, is the age of 16 or 17, I believe. One of those. You, what's wrong with you? Well, no, 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 I, no, I didn't know. I didn't know until after. What is wrong with you? I'm not hanging up on you. I'm going to fucking chastise you on my radio show. What's wrong with you? I didn't know until afterwards, Tony. I didn't card her. What are you she, fucking I thought, nuts? What, what, what are you nuts? You don't know the difference between a 14-year-old and a fucking adult? Well, she she looked, I mean, she looked, she looked like a woman, Tony. Let me tell you, she was a woman. You know what I mean? Sick. I'm sick. You, Adam, you're sick. You're, you're out there having stuff. You're hitting the sides 
You're hitting minor sides. That's what you're doing. And that's not fucking cool. You understand me? It's... I didn't know until afterwards, Tony. I mean, come on. I, I you well, know, you, I... Okay, okay, let me ask you something. Let me ask, fine, let me ask you something. You didn't know. Let's just say in a weird fucking world where she's 14, okay, and she looks like she's, I don't know, 25 because there's a fucking difference between the ages, okay? Let's just say in a weird world that that's the case, okay? After she told you she was 14, did you go back and hit her sides again? Well, no, no. I mean, Tony, you've got to help. Tony, you've got to help me out here. I mean, okay, look, I, I mean, I, I, I no, listen, please hear me out. I, I mean, I thought it was a little odd that she was reading Dr. Seuss's Oh, the Places You'll Go. Um, you know, she had a lunchbox next to her, but I, you know, I mean, these kids these days, they're hipsters, you know, she had a, she had a Jonas Brothers lunchbox with her. I, I, I don't know. Don't fuck a pedophile! Don't call him no more! Get out of here! You sick son of a bitch! Okay, you know, you can't... There's a... Ah! Oh, fuck! Okay, first of all... You hit me a girl, and you, you, you got a lunch box. Okay, get out of here! Don't ever call here again! I do not want sickos and pedophiles calling my show! If y'all haven't... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, my fucking head hurts. My my head hurts. Oh. My, uh, my my head actually hurts. I gotta go on a music break. I, I, I can't right now. I gotta go on a music break. I, I can't deal with this shit right now. Oh my god. This 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 guy. Just wish there were a chance to send the end. 
voice of an angel in the heart of a lion. Tell me, baby, do you like what you see? I needed to calm down because that guy was a sick son of a bitch. A sick, sick, sick son of a bitch. This is Pastor Ken Appreciation Night, okay? I just want good callers on here. That's it. You want to be a stunad? You get booted. Calling in here having sex with minors. There's nothing cool about that. Nothing cool about that. <sighs> three, three, six, you've been there for a while. I'm going to bring you on. Please be a normal caller, three, three, six. <sighs> three, three, six, welcome to Pastor Ken Appreciation Night. What do you say? Hey, what do you say? Uh, what do you hear? What do you say, brother? Yeah, I'm looking at your Discord right now, uh, your chat room oh, here in the Joey. Discord, and uh, it's disgusting. You know, these people are Thank trying God. to entrap you, and uh, little do they know. And, and trust me, uh, Tony, I'm going to tell you right now, they call me on my cell phone, and uh, yeah, you can call me a retard, whatever you want to do, but um, just let you know, you use your usernames, whatnot, you know, we know who you are. And uh, you could threaten Tony on his show, make fun of him, and try to entrap him by uh, people calling in, like the last caller, saying that he's having sex with a minor. And you go it's ahead and insane. Doing that. Yeah, it's it insane. is insane. Tony, Tony Gaga, uh, his show does not promote that whatsoever. He's a friend of mine. He's a fellow Blog Talk Radio show host. Like, uh, and uh, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, we'll we'll be seeing you soon in North Carolina. So you keep calling my cell phone, you scumbags, and threatening Shut me like bitches. you do. Yeah, that's, what they, that's what they are. Stu notches, that's what they are. <clears throat> but I've yeah. got all their names, and uh, they can threaten me all they want. And uh, trust me, uh, this is something we're not going to let go. <clears throat> you know, um, excuse me. No. But no. you're a blog talk radio show host. I know you're trying to do an entertainment show, and you, and you do a professional job of it. But you get these idiots that troll in on Discord, and uh, uh, I'm in your chat room right now, actually, understanding the times which you live in. Um, you oh, know, I, I, that, I don't see you in there. I know that there's two chat rooms, but I'm in one of them. I'm not in the other it, one. Oh, okay. Well, I know, because they're, they're posting things. One guy just posted, shut it down. And uh, we all know the Attorney General has better things to do than monitor Discord. No, that's not true. They like coming after people like you. <clears throat> you know, so, uh, but we'll see. <clears throat> Excuse me. When, when, you're, when the U.S. Marshals come and pick you up in Colorado uh, and uh, California, uh, one guy is from Washington State, actually. I'm not going to give his name, but they're, they're listening and they're watching. Um, and, uh, you call my cell phone one more time and any of you scumbags out there, you'll trust me. I've, I've warned you and, uh, you're, you'll be monitored. But Tony Gaga, I just want to say, uh, I, I'm listening to the show. It, it's actually great entertainment. Uh, I, I was yeah, hoping you'd you. call into my podcast and, uh, you know, give your two cents in, but you may have been busy, but I remember listening to uh. the show you did, did about your cruise and then uh, when I was called into that show, you had an idiot that tried to debate me and threaten me out live on your show. Um, he never showed up at Gold's Gym, by the way. Um, but um, I just want to say I support your podcast. I love you. Thank You're you, a Joe. good friend, and you got a, and you got a great show. You know, Shame you. And, and uh, Joe, I would love to call into your show, man. It's just I, I'm so damn surrounded by work. I, I don't know if you heard the beginning of the show. I uh I, I got a working situation. I'm trying to figure that out. Um, you know, and I'm getting bombarded over here, Joe. Who, what do you want? Not you. <laughs> Not you. I know. You know what? You don't want me to bring you on the air still now because Joe will rip you apart. You want to be ripped apart? <laughs> uh, tell him, Tone. Tell him, Tony. I'll, I'll snap their neck like a breadstick. 
You know, and, you and, know and, and they're all punks. Oh, oh. You know. Hang on. Here's just. You know what? You want to be tough. You want to be a tough guy? I'm bringing him on here. Joe, handle this son of a bitch for me. I don't know who this is. Hang on a second. You want to be tough? Okay. Okay, 978, you have something to say to Joe Gibson. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, Agent Ellison um, has already been monitoring uh, Gibson, and uh, he's getting ready to shut him all the way down. He, yeah. he, he threatened the Federal Reserve on his show. Um, he, he wasn't a, he wasn't a big gang leader in prison. He was a, what they call a punk. He used to dress up real girly, put Kool-Aid on his lips and, uh, turn tricks. Okay. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? And stuff like that. Are are you, are you done? Listen, you little punk. There's a book written about my life. There's not, listen, uh, you know, uh, we can go back to the mafia days. Hey, hey, look, pal. It's all nonsense. It doesn't all matter lies. what it is. But yeah, no you called my and you called my no cell phone. Uh, you called my cell. No verification. Look, go to Amazon.com. Go to Barnes and Noble. Whatever. No verification. Look, punk. Look, listen, punk. You There's called my cell phone. There's There's no about paperwork. Listen, punk. You want me to give your phone number out in front done. of everybody right now? You want me to show give your, your phone number out? Do you want me to give? Yeah, I don't need to show you nothing, you little punk. So you want me to give your phone you number up? I called you on my podcast. I called you on my podcast, and you punked down like a little bitch. Okay? Shut you're a little up. bitch. Uh, okay, that tough lives guy. In your, you're, yeah. Tough yeah. Guy. yeah, you're a little bitch. That's you were what a you punk are. in the now, joint. I, I mean, you were a punk North in Carolina. the joint. Hey, 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 they now, called you I, I go to Gold's Gym every single morning, 8.30 a.m., Brassfield Shopping Center on Battleground Avenue. Come on. Come on by anytime you want. Yeah, Okay. You know what? People like you, Boy, I got a buck say. fifty right across you your face. Twerk. You, you know what a buck fifty is? Up on the ah. tables for yeah. all the brothers. Uh, I, like you, you have a smiley coon. face right across your face. Like that nigger in my Yeah, yeah, ah. yeah whatever. Is that yeah, what you know? You met him in the joint. So you're a racist. You used to sell that booty to him? Hey, listen, pal. You used to sell that booty to Mount Delacoon. You know what? I called you on my podcast, and you do your Lionel Richie tickets and all your other crap that you do. All you are is a blog talk radio show troll who has nothing better to do. You stay awake late at night, look jerking off to naked pictures on the internet, ah. probably little boys. Enemy. You're a punk. Enemy. You're a punk. You're a punk. Hentai is the you're best. You're a bottom dweller. Hentai. You're a bottom dweller. Hentai you're a, you're is a the You're a little punk. That, that, what the hell is this hentai? Don't make fun Who's of me hentai? and my hentai. Is that a porn star? What state hentai are you porn. from? What, yeah, where are you porn. from? Where are you from, sir? Where are you from, ma'am or sir? You already know I don't that. Know. You already know that. Yeah. You know where I'm from. You've already back traced and shut my credit cards off and everything. I mean, the last you're time you were on right. the show, you back traced right. my... You're darn right. And you got a lot you more coming my your way. Credit cards. Yeah, you got Please. a lot more coming your way, you troll. You got a lot more coming your way. Wait till the U.S. Marshals snatch your ass up and throw you in the p- box, okay? Ooh. They'll throw you in. Uh, yeah, that's that right. I won't be a punk. At least I won't be a yeah. punk in a... Okay, yeah, okay, you're being rude to yeah. Joe. You're being rude to Joe. And you sound like Jessica. Is it, who is this? It's probably Jessica. It's just oh, baby. Tony, baby. Yep. Tony, yep. baby. Yeah, Jessica. No, yeah, call Jessica me baby. was in my <laughs> chat room. Ah, yeah. Yep. Not you, John. Yeah, that's, scream at him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, tell him off, Tony. Tell him off. He's a bottom dweller. He's he out probably of stares at naked pictures uh, all day long. And, I don't know and who anime is. But who, whoever you know? anime is, I'm sorry, anime. She, he, he's a dirty pig, and he, and he touches himself while he watches you. Okay? And, and who is... Great. Okay, so now I'm getting another... Joe, these guys, they all want to talk to you. What the hell is going on, man? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Tony. What what it is is like I said, they're all a bunch of punks and suckers, and, and they're internet trolls, and they're on Facebook creating phony phone uh, profiles, coming on my Facebook page saying that they want to, uh, you know, uh, do this and do that, and you know, look, they're, they're animated. They're all what they are. They're animated cartoons, and they don't understand. Look, you have a different platform than I do. I, you know, I, uh, which I respect your platform. I do. Uh, I, I handle po- political issues and I call senators and whatnot, but I get these trolls that call in and, and they're and and they're just they're losers, man. I mean, I just don't know what else to say. They're they're punks, like, they're like bottom this dwellers. This guy yeah. just emailed me. 
This guy, well, j not not j not a loser. j just sent me an email. This guy from the 720 area code is a friend of Agent Allison. Who is Agent Allison? Who is that? It's a fake name, Tony. It's a fake name. Agent hang on, sh- hang on, John. I'm bringing the son of a bitch on. I'm tired of this. Right. We're going to show off this tonight. Hang Amen. on a second. Hang on a second. Where is he? 720, who are you and why are you calling from Agent Ellison's office? Hey, this is Dan Darcy. I'm, I, 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 don't, I don't know where J-Bo got it mixed up, but, uh, hey, I just want to bring up the fact that I went to Gold's Gym to pick up tickets and Joe Gibson ripped me off. What? <laughs> and how did I rip you off? Did I bitch slap you like the punk you are? Did I bitch slap you? <laughs> yeah, you took my money and drove away like a little bitch. Yeah, okay. Well, then why did you give me your money then? Why did you give me your fake Federal Reserve notes then? Why, why did you do that, All you punk? You, mu- you must be a sucker then. You must be a sucker. Then you got played. Then you got played, didn't you? You got played like a sucker. That's my dick face, bud. Yeah, you're a punk. You're a punk. That's not funny. That's not funny. You're, hey, Dan, Tony, you don't why, say that to why, Joe why Gibson. Gibson on? Patrick Ken should be on. Fuck this faggot. Oh, you don't say that, Dan. <laughs> okay, get out of here, Dan. Joe Jesus. Fucking... Okay. Joe, I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. These are the trolls you get on Blog Talk Radio. These, these are the trolls you get. Idiots what? that that don't do know I how even... to be entertained. And Why don't do know do how it? to have a civil conversation. They don't have a. They don't know how to have a civil conversation, uh, like you did the show with Cadill- uh, about Cadillac Joe uh, a couple weeks ago. Great podcast you did. Uh, great story you told. You know, um, Thank you. And, and and the and the story that you told about your cruise. You know, um, these guys, these people are losers. They 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 stay awake all night long staring at the internet. They've been ripped off by naked girls on the internet. And, and this is the problem in our country. They don't get it. They don't understand. They're just uh, fake. They're fake. They're fake women. Uh, they want. They want to be women. The men want to be women, and women want to be men. That's fine. But don't come on to this podcast show and attack Joseph Gibson, or don't attack. And don't come on my podcast show and attack Tony. Don't do that. Just don't do it. You know, have a civil conversation. I mean, for, God, for goodness sake, the guy's trying to entertain you. You know, it's a Sunday night. We're, we're going into the work week. You know, the guy's trying to have a good time here and, and bring a podcast for you, and you're attacking the guy, you know, and you're That's trying right. to entrap him. You're trying to entrap him by him allowing people to have sex with minors on his show, which you know that's against the law. You're trying to set the guy up. Shame on you. This Tony does not support that, Okay. He does not no, I support don't. that type of behavior. He's a good no, guy. Tony is a good... Yeah, I know you don't. And, and I don't support that either. And the, and these people are suckers. They really are, Tony. They're, 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 they're going to get what they deserve. Trust me. They're going to get what they deserve one way or the other. And, and that's amen, how it's going to play out. You know? Thank, but I, thank you, John. Well, you're welcome. Tony, I'll continue listening to the show. I don't want to take away from your show... I, I know when I call in, I, I I'm a, it's like a laser beam. Everyone focuses on me, just like when I, I'm on my show. They they bring you up, and they focus oh, on you. You know, yeah, and and, and and it's they're losers. That's the fact of the matter. But I, I want to thank you for allowing me to uh, be on your podcast. And uh, if, can I give a shout out to my show with your permission? Absolutely. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, understanding the time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday nights. You know, I sometimes do a show on the on the weekdays where I call people and ask them if they accept Federal Reserve notes, and uh, you know uh, we make them look silly, but we try to educate people. Understanding the times in which you live in, BlogTalkRadio.com forward slash Joseph Gibson. And by all means, Tony, you're always welcome on my podcast. Uh, uh, I don't have you on my Facebook or Twitter. I've got you on Discord right now. So um, hopefully we can be friends. And uh, that Bill, uh, you're number one on Blog Talk Radio. I got uh, you're you're even better, more listeners than I get. So thank God, right. you know, thank God for Tony Gaga. That's what I got to say. God bless you, no. sir. 
No problem, my friend. Th- thank you so much, Joe. And listen, don't worry about these two nods. Go do your show. Go g- and you do your thing. Joe, I'll talk to you on the next episode. Feel free to call in, my friend. And when I get a free time, I'm going to call into your show, okay? All right. Love you. I love you, and I support you, and please be safe, brother, and uh, keep up the good fight. Keep up the good fight always. You too, Joe. Love you, my friend. Take it easy. Have a good night. All right. Bye. Guys attacking poor Joe. Joe never did nothing to you. And Jesco, you all you you you, you Jesco, you ruined Pastor Ken appreciation night. You you ruined it, you son of a bitch. And Ken, when you call, Ken, if you're listening, because this is supposed to be an appreciation night for you. I apologize. I'm just going to have you call in. Ken, if you call in, I'll bring you on. And we'll talk a little bit. Okay? <sighs> Give me anxiety attacks. Just trying to have a good show. <sighs> okay, j yep. j just sent me a message, all right? I got a friend that has a message here. Specific message. For Pastor Ken. So 502, I'm going to bring you on the air. Don't be a stunard. Let's see. Go ahead, 502. Hiya, Uncle Tony. It's me, Pennywise, the dancing clown. No! How are you tonight? Okay, no, no. I don't, okay, get out of here. No, 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 no. Okay, all right, first of all, I don't like clowns. And second, I fucking hate that movie, It. I don't like the original one, and I don't like the new one. It scared the shit out of me, okay? I don't want to deal with it. I don't I don't want it. Do not call in here. It makes me nervous. It makes me fucking nervous. I don't like it. I just want to continue on with Pastor Ken Appreciation Night. Okay, that's what I want to do. I want to practice. That's all I want to do. If I'm looking at the right number here, I think this is Pastor Ken, and I'm going to bring him on the air. I think this is him. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Dr. Pastor Ken Fishman, the man of the hour, because we have an hour left anyway. This is, let's see, 210, was this Kenny? Yes, it is, my brother. How you doing? Kenny, baby! Look at Pastor Ken! What's yes, up, my friend? Uh, I'm, the show uh, was a little nothing, derailed. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I see that. Yeah, I've been, I've been listening, and uh, I just thought I'd call in and say thank you very much for having a, a, a Pastor Ken Appreciation Day. Uh, yeah, I know you have other things you could do. And uh, but thank you, thank you very much for uh, giving me the honor. Um, I appreciate it. No, not a problem, my friend. Not a problem at all. Listen, I, I just realized, you know, that everybody's pretty much shit on you, and and says horrible things about you and everything. I decided, as a friend, to have a <laughs> Pastor Ken appreciation night, and so far <laughs> so good. Wow. Not yes. really, but 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 well, nobody's been yeah. too stunned. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Pastor Kent, uh, he's yeah, he's a, he's another he's another troll. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, Pastor Kent. Yeah, he's um. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, he he gave you like a backhanded uh, compliment. And, and no, yeah. Ashton, in my Discord chat, Ken is not receiving a BJ. Do not be still mad. Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, disrespect the show that way. No, no, he, he's he's not Rico. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Ken, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start bringing some callers on the air. Okay, I got a whole bunch of people lined up here. 
Okay. I'm going to leave you on, on the air with me. And people are going to just, we're just going to talk. So that's that's what we're going to do. But there was a lot of one one one. so if they get fresh, I'm going to hang up on them. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's do this. One one one. I'm bringing you on. This is Pastor Ken Appreciation Night. Do not be a stunad. If you are, you're getting hung up on right away. Okay? So let's see. One, one, one. Mm. You're coming on the air. Be nice. One, one, one. Welcome to Pastor Ken Appreciation Night. What do you hear? What do you say? <laughs> good, good, good evening, uh, Tony. How are you? Uh, and Kenny, oh, nice to, nice to hear your voice again. How are you, Holmes? How are you? Yes, yeah, this, this is, this is Dominguez, man, the Caballo. This is the horse that, that oh, penetrated uh, Kenny. I, I got uh, Kenny, man. I appreciate I you because you uh, taught me so much. Okay. Okay, now. He's trying. Okay, now. Okay. Horses don't call in to blog talk. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Apparently yeah, a horse. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not a horse. It's a person. Yeah, horses don't call. Oh, God, okay. Oh, horses don't. Horses don't call me. No. All right. Anyway, well, one, one, one. You've been there for twenty-five minutes. This is Pastor Ken Appreciation Night. This is not to insult him. This is to have good memories and talk. Go ahead, one, one, one. Go ahead. What do you hear? What do you say? <laughs> As horses, we are so natural, so thin, long legs, so suckable, hard to resist, so touchable. Oh, okay, so good, okay. Good, okay. Recording. No big deal. It's... No. All right, that's not funny. That's not funny, Kenny. Yeah. Let's try this. Let's try this again. One, one, one. We're gonna try this again. Not the same one. A different one. That was that was rude. No horse jokes. We're not talking about horses. Stop it. It's stupid. Go ahead. One, one, one. Hello? Tony. Hello? Hello? This is Pastor Ken. Cadillac Joe. Brought your mother to Turkey. Didn't see on Thanksgiving. Yes, Cadillac Joe did. Yes, he's a very yes. good man. Yes, he is. Like Joe. Yes. Get to like Joe. Your mother. Get to like Joe. Get to like Joe sucked. Your mother sucked Get to like Joe's dick so you could have turkey uh, and things. You you fuck. Fuck you, you bitch. Fuck. Get out of here. Piece <laughs> <He's> of garbage. <sighs> Come on. Some appreciation night, huh, Ken? Yeah. Yeah. Some student. You guys call it here. I'm just going to hang up. You guys want to be fresh? We're not going to be fresh. We're just going to talk. That's it. Go ahead. One, one, one. <laughs> Hello, Tony. How are you doing? This is Beanie. Beanie, what's up, Beanie? What do you hear? What do you say? Welcome to Pastor Ken Appreciation Night. All right. Hey, hey, Pastor Ken, how you doing? I'm doing fine, Beanie. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm here working at the L.A. County corner right now. But uh, me and my friend, Cholo Khan, we want to say hello, and we want to congratulate you and appreciate you for what you do, for what you did for me and Tony and for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, thank you. All right. If you could put me back uh-huh. on you. That's good. Yeah, yes, Beanie. I'm going to put you back on mute. 
can put you back on mute. Thank you for calling in and not being a stonyard. <laughs> that was good. That was Beanie. Be- Beanie's an alright guy, you know. Hey, let me just tag this uh, Beanie. <laughs> so he can go on mute and enjoy the rest of the show. How are you holding up, Ken? You good over there? I'm, I'm, I'm holding up fine. Good. Very good. Very good. Uh, we're going to bring on 219. 219 real quick. Uh, let's see. 219. Blog talk is very weird tonight. I know. I thought I was having problems with blog talk earlier. It's insane. It's insane. Two, one. Now stepping into the ring, a tag team duo that has taken the world by storm, weighing in at a combined weight of 485 pounds, the Dream Team, steve and Tony Gaga. Ah. Yo, what is up, my dude? Not much, steve What do you hear? What do you say? Welcome to Pastor Ken Appreciation Night. Well, uh, glad to be here. Uh... Very sorry to hear that your finances are hitting you pretty hard, but if you had like a PayPal or a Patreon or anything like that, I could help out a bit if you need me to. Yeah, you know, I, I appreciate that. The thing is, is I don't like to exploit my listeners. I mean, it's one thing if like, like, like what Ken does, he gets donations for Bible stuff like that. Like, like, what am I gonna do? Ask for donations for, for myself? What am I gonna do? Go to Dunkin' Donuts for my donations? Like, I, 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 I don't want to exploit my listeners. Like, uh. A certain somebody dies by the name of Ghost. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, I don't want to talk about Ghost. But, <laughs> <laughs> but happy Father's Day uh, to your cats. And uh, I don't know if Ken's a father or not, but yeah, uh, happy Father's Day. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Uh, so I just had a question, uh, Tony. Uh, do you play any video games by chance? Uh, you know, I was playing video games. I had an Xbox One. I was playing video games. Um, I played that uh, World War Two game there. Um, the one with the, the, the obviously the Nazis and everything, and then they had the zombie mode. What's that called? Call of Duty or something like that. Is that what that is? Call it of Duty. Possibility. Yeah, I played yeah, that game. I, plenty of I, them. I, I played the UFC games, and I always lost uh, because I don't. I, I mean, I tried, but I uh, I went all the way up to UFC two with that, and um, I played the wrestling games once in a while. But but like you know, they're not like they used to be on PS two or like you know whatever. Yeah, everything's so fuck. Sorry, Ken, but everything's so friggin' complicated. You know, and it's very difficult to play. It's very, very difficult. And 2K, uh, it's like some... Oh, I forgot Ken was here. Oh, speaking of which, since Ken is here... Hold on one second. Second. Oh, test How about you testify, Ken? Let me hear you testify. Why don't you testify? Come on, baby. It's kind of jamming. It's kind of jamming. Ken, that that should be your entrance song. (laughs) Oh, this is your entrance song, Ken. Let me hear you get hyped, Ken. Let me hear you get hyped. Come on, kid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you gotta get home. Yeah. yeah. Let me hear you say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, I need to feel it. I need to feel that energy. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Oh, Steve, Steve, as much as I love this song, as much as I love this song, my friend, 
Well, I got some callers. Let me get to the other guys. Thank, thank you for calling in. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank sounds you. good, man. You guys take, take care. Now. Th- thank you, Devon. Devon's a good guy. Devon's a good guy. All right, Ken, we're still going. Uh, let's see. I got a. Uh, I got six one seven here. Six one seven. What do you hear? What do you say? Hello, my darlings. Hello, Kenneth. How are you? My name is Alfonso. I'm all right, Alfonso. How are you? Jesus. I'm not bad. I'm not bad, darling. How is everything? I just wanted to quickly stop in. I'm a little naked right now. I just got out of the bathtub with Rico. But I wanted to say thank you, darling, for being very, very instrumental in bringing my darling Rico back to me and bringing him out of that closet of despair that he was in where he would call everybody a dick sock and everything else. And then all of a sudden, oh, my God. Oh, my God. But, darling, thank you. So much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so very much, darling. Yeah, you're so so welcome. That's that's good. Um, Alfonso, um, thank you for your call. I appreciate you calling in. I, I appreciate that. No problem, darling. And listen to me very carefully. Kenny, you and Tony F. are both a power couple just like Rico and I. And when you're done tonight on the air, you go over to him and you num 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 him, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, all Good night, darlings. I love you. Good Take night. care of your boy. Good balls. night. Love you too. Good night. Good night. Jesus. That's how. That's how fun. Yeah. That is fantastic. That was how fun. Anyway, we're going to go to, uh, this is your area code, 210. Looks like a local 210 calling in. 210, what do you hear? What do you say? Hello, Tony. Hello, Kenny. Good evening. How are you? (laughs) All right. How are you? Hello. Well, I'm blessed and highly favored. And, you know... I appreciate Kenny so much for several different reasons, okay? Kenny is a uh, very, very good person, and I don't know why people come after Kenny. You know, Kenny is a good pastor, and um, Kenny has yes, been yes. a good, uh, you know, he's been a very, very good uh, soulmate. And, you know, I appreciate Kenny because, you know, um, he knows how to please me, okay? Kenny, I appreciate you because you know how to fuck. Kenny knows how to fuck. <laughs> Kenny, this is Tony F, by the way. Love you. No. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, uh, Remember, right. you're going to be on the bottom tonight. You're going to be on the bottom tonight. Love you, Kenny. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, good night. God, okay, get out of here. Uh, 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 by the way, that wasn't Tony. Uh, <laughs> the, where, where, where is Tony F anyway, Ken? Is he around? It, it's not Tony F. Okay, Tony F was sitting there listening to the show, sitting on the bed oh, looking at me, okay, not with a phone <laughs> in his hand, okay? Okay, so, okay. He's like, yeah, tell him it's not Tony F. I said, yeah, it's not Tony F. That's ridiculous. That's some ridiculous stuff. That is some ridiculous yeah. stuff. Well, you know, people gotta, you know, gotta be try to be funny. <sighs> well, we should At least he said he appreciated. I'm a good pastor, and and and. Uh, before he got into that, and Kenny knows how to vote. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, but Tony says he does appreciate me. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. And as do I, and actually, most of the listeners are supposed to too, because this is Pastor Ken Appreciation Night. 
Obviously. <sighs> Let's see. I got a I got another one 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 here, and I got my my cursor floating over the X button. Okay, just in case uh, you guys get fresh. Let's um. Let's bring you on. Go ahead, one one one. What do you hear? What do you say? Welcome to Pastor Ken Appreciation Night. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. Get up on you, son of a bitch. Get out of here. Now we know who that was. Yep. Yeah. We know who that was. She's trying to ruin uh, everybody's good time. Yeah, that's old Benjamin Duke of Fontaine, the turd. The turd. They call him Bottom Bitch Fontaine, the turd. Turd, yeah. Well, look, Ken, we don't got a lot of people calling in for some weird reason, and I don't understand why. Don't understand why. But what I want to do is I'm going to give you the floor for a few minutes before I... Uh, but before we go into the next thing and I talk to my, my audience. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to give it a four. Do you have anything that you want to say to the listeners out there? Anything at all? Any what? stupid rumors that people have said? Anything like that? Mm. Negative, positive, anything that you want to fix up and set straight? Well, there's a lot of, there's a lot of that. Okay, uh, I can set straight. And we, we, uh, we wouldn't have enough time on the show. But I, I just want to sit there and say, you know, thank you to all the people that's called in and had something nice to say. Um, uh, yes. Thank you uh, for that. I appreciate that. Okay, and 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 also, okay, if, if you uh, if if you want to listen to a good godly show, you can also. If, you know, I'm also on Block Talk. It's God Rainbow Ministries. Okay, Very good. it's block it's blogtalk dot com. Okay, it's uh, backslash. Okay, uh, God, uh, God's Rainbow Ministries. So, uh, oh, you I got hope you, you got music for this too. That's good. Well, you I ain't got music going. That's not well, good. Not Hello. All your listeners, yeah. well, that's Buford that Fontaine. Okay, talk, yeah. hold on. Let me go through the list of the phone calls. Did I leave somebody on the phone? Okay. Is, uh, okay, is, 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 no. Is Buford. This is not me. Listeners, please hold on a second. I gotta find out. There's nobody on the line that's doing this. Okay, son of a bitch. Ken, hold on a second. Okay. Hold on. That's right now, Miss Nails, will you just keep playing this song? This is a song Hello? that Mr. Tony's going to hear in his sleep. And it is nightmares because I'm taking over. Ain't nothing you're going to do but cry. This Mr. Tony, your show's over. Time to say goodbye to Tony Tony. I wish you didn't even get in my way, Mr. Tony. Your day is a number. 